Hey guys, Cookie and Swanee here once again. We've already covered General Grievous and Obi-Wan Kenobi and what their abilities are going to be. Now we're going to shift things to Anakin Skywalker and we're going to tell you what we think that their his abilities are going to be when he comes out in the Clone Wars season coming in the fall for Star Wars Battlefront 2. So, how... I, here's the thing, Swanee. Uh, how can they make Anakin unique in any way and not make him just a copy of the other lightsaber wielding characters. Well, see, that's the problem. Um, I would imagine he would be very, very similar to Luke. Because, I mean, in the movies, in the cartoons, and everything, he's like fast, agile. Uh, he's just that kind of hero. And it's kind of weird because, like, because there's like the good Anakin and then there's the bad Anakin. I mean, mm -hmm. we're obviously getting the good Anakin, but they could have different powers. Like the bad Anakin could have like the force choke and stuff, and he would be more of like an evil, kind of slow, powerful Anakin, compared to like the the good guy Anakin would be more fast and agile. So he's obviously not going to have like a force choke or anything, but I would imagine he would probably be quick. He would have some sort of dash ability. But that's kind of the same problem with Obi-Wan, is that most of the powers that he would have is already in the game. So they have to do some yeah. sort of twist on all these current powers. Yeah, like, I'm okay, like, kind of like I said with Obi-Wan, if two of the three powers are similar to other powers, but are like a different twist, I'm okay with that. But you got to have at least one unique power that really is, is just an Anakin kind of thing like we were talking with obi-wan the problem was his mind trick would have been his one unique power but as far as anakin i like i kind of struggle to think of what his ultimate unique power would be maybe he could have some sort of big lunge uh because he would do a lot of like far jumps and stuff when he was fighting obviously that mm. didn't work out in his final fight with obi-wan but like, he, he really, like, doing big jumps and stuff was his thing. Maybe he could just jump across a bunch of people with a big swing and kill multiple enemies at once. Could also yeah, work like as a, a dash move. Dash the only thing swing. is, it's pretty similar to, uh, to Luke's. you know, the other dashes, like Luke's dash or even Yoda's dash, so or even Darth Maul's dash. So, again, even that's not really that unique. It would mm -hmm. <laughs> They kind of find themselves in a position where it's really, really difficult to make the lightsaber wielders significantly more unique uh, from one another. And there's also an argument to be had whether they need to be extremely unique from each other because even in the original Battlefront 2, they weren't that super unique from each other. They all had, like, the same powers. <laughs> Most of them had yeah. saber throw. Most of them had force push. Yeah, you so, can only get so you know. unique between the Jedi. I mean, they all have their differences, but they all pretty much have the same abilities. Yeah. So... <laughs> I would predict he could have a force, like, lightsaber throw. It kind of makes sense for him. So mm -hmm. maybe a dash, a saber throw. Because, I mean, even Darth Vader has a saber throw. So, I mean, they're the same person. So yeah. it would kind of That's not like sense. a Sith Jedi thing. That's just, yeah. you know, both sides can do that. So I predict he's got saber throw, some sort of dash where he, like, lunges and like swings it kind of like a baseball bat like with, with one hand so he like jumps and swings at the same time kind of like a powerful swing it might do more mm -hmm. damage compared to like other character swings so and then the middle abilities i'm not too sure it had to be some sort of like kind of like a repulse but mm -hmm. uh maybe his own twist i'm not sure what his middle bumpers could be Again, it's it's really similar to what we said with Obi Wan. It's like, I mean, I like I would like him to have a unique sort of force push power, kind of like Luke's repulse. That's just different than the other force powers. I, I want Anakin to have something like that. But the big difference between Anakin and Obi Wan for me was, uh, in general, Obi Wan was more about, you know, using you know, using his power for defense. It was mainly Obi Wan's big thing. Anakin was more even when he was good. It's all about attack. Like, he was always jumping into battle, uh, usually before he was supposed to. So, I mean, like, his big thing is, you know, attack, 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 attack. 
So I think all of his powers mm-hmm. should kind of reflect that. Like, I think it would be cool if one of the Jedi had like a force shield ability where they would shield their teammates and themselves for a certain amount of time. Uh, but that wouldn't make sense for Anakin. I don't feel like that was his kind of mantra. He would run in and fight and... It would kind of make sense, although it would be really cheap, if they gave him like something very similar to Vader's uh, Furious Rage, where he just gets a bump of health, and then he can like move a little faster. That would be pretty mm. cheap, because obviously Vader's already got it, um, but yeah, it would kind of make sense. His other abilities, because uh, that would be kind of a cop-out. Just have the same oh, powers be, from it Vader. It would be awful. For and I mean, I don't want them to do that, but I'd like them to do... Something in a way that would make it unique to Anakin to be like, hey, him and a couple other guys with him maybe get a uh, get a boost to their attack or like something. Like a morale boost or something. Move faster. Like following him into battle. Yeah, because he he's an attacker when you know throughout the Clone Wars and everything, and Revenge of the Sith and Attack of the Clones, he, he's he's always trying to attack and get into the battle. So. Something to kind of reflect that more or less than his defense. Although he has to have saber block at the same time. But I can understand if his saber block is kind of like Kylo's. Like he can block, but it's not his forte. It's it's, it's not, not as like powerful. Yeah, uh, but he needs to have more health than Kylo. Although Kylo needs more health, but that's another, <laughs> that's another story. Yeah. yeah, hopefully all these heroes right off the bat have some sort of healing star cards. Because... Currently, they're trying to make healing star cards for all the remaining heroes, so it wouldn't really make sense for them not to. But they've Mm -hmm. surprised me with being stupid in the past many times. So uh, who knows at this point if they can heal or not. Um, Mm -hmm. But yeah, they could either give him some sort of healing thing where they hit the bumpers. Because Finn has that too, where he has like everyone in his circle gets extra health, but... I don't really like Finn's abilities that well. I don't. Mm-hmm. Plus, I don't know how it would work. I mean, s- same with Yoda. Yoda buffs everybody, and they all get health around Yoda. Um, I don't know how it would work with someone like Anakin if he's so fast. It would have to be like yeah. a Yoda buff where they just buff instantly, because there was no way that they could like stay in his circle if he's as fast as like Luke is, because he's yeah. gonna be all over the place. Well, I feel like it would so, make more sense. If it was the way that, like, because Yoda just, like, buffs your health and then runs away. Something mm-hmm. more to that. But I think Anakin would make more sense if it didn't buff your health, but it maybe It'd be kind of cool if it stats. would actually buff your speed and buff your attack ability. Like, you actually do more damage or something. That feels more yeah, get, like an Anakin get type get stat. Bit dangerous. If yeah, that's the problem. With it, doing danger or more damage. Like, yeah, I mean, he just did technically. Damage. Technically, it should be comparable to the health thing, but for some reason, it probably wouldn't be. Because technically, you would nah. think if someone got 200 more health, they'd have so much more of an advantage. But it never actually seems to work out that way. <laughs> but if they do twice as much damage uh, with their with blaster, they'd probably get broken. Yeah, with the rate of fire, if they do even like 50 more points of damage or 25, it stacks fast. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't think that would work. And the problem with like kind of be nice like that. The my problem with all these force push moves, like I'd like to see him have like a force push or something that'd be cool, or even like I'm not against repulse, like I like the ability. The problem is that none of these abilities work. Like I don't want him to get a repulse because Luke still doesn't work, and it's been like eight months. For oh, well, some reason, he can't figure out how to do these force powers. Well, that's a whole other so problem. And oh, like, well, I know I have it, to keep that into. <laughs> consideration i mean that doesn't mean know, they might not they have these have powers. No powers because like almost none of the powers have worked consistently except these for the most part with these heroes there's always been something broken about almost every well, single i'm just hero. saying that's a power that i would like to see but not at the same time unless that they fix it because yoda still doesn't work with his push uh luke's repulse doesn't work with his push like a lot of these abilities don't work like, because mm-hmm. of height and uh, difference and stuff. If someone's above you and you're below them and you try to push them, they're not affected. So I don't want to run in as Anakin, who's this epic attacker. I force push, and then no one is affected, and I just get melted. It kind of takes yeah. away from the fun of playing the game. 
Mm-hmm. Or so like kind of hope something he doesn't like, have abilities like that. Well, it'd be nice if he had some sort of ability like the more people he's surrounded by, the more healthy or the less damage he takes. Wasn't that like Vader's thing in the first Battlefront? Where he had something like mm, that? Maybe. I don't, that would kind I don't of make sense so. for... I thought he had something like that eventually, like or or if he had it and they took it away. I thought at some it's point like a passive the first ability Vader had it. Where you yeah, don't like even if, activate it. It's just Yeah, the, the more, more enemies that you. surrounded him, the, the oh, more health that, or that, the less damage he took. Yeah, that thing. Hmm. So like Anakin actually might have the ability to go into a group of enemies and not uh be as affected as most others would be just because he had to be He's they'd have to make that in bumpers. Like, you activate it, and then while you're in that, like, fury mode, the more enemies that are near you, the more powerful you are mm -hmm. or something. But it really needs to work. Like, I don't want that to be some BS ability that you turn it on, you jump into a group and die instantly anyway. You can't tell anyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, that needs to be, like, when you turn that on, you don't need to fear going up against two people. Like, now, if you go up against seven... Uh, you probably should be able to pull it off. See, that's, but that's the problem with all these cool powers the we're thinking of. Is because I'm afraid to use any of them because I'm afraid they won't work. <laughs> well, that, like, that's the problem with all the, any powers. They never seem to really work. Yeah, like right now, people were saying that Vader's throw, it's supposed to do damage when it comes back to you, but it, it's, that's reportedly not working, and Ray's star cards are breaking the game, and Palpatine's lightning was turned off. Like there's so many things that that hero designer can't figure out how to do. So I wonder how many of these new heroes there. are going to be bugged when they come out. Because they're obviously going to be more powerful than the other heroes. And is that going that's just, to restrict it more? Like restrict uh, what they can do and what they can give us. I mean, we, like we said, we've come up with some interesting ideas and stuff. But can we realistically expect them to actually? do some of these things I, because something like like force hold when we first saw that i thought like that that looked really impressive and really interesting and i was surprised they could even make that work right and in general force hold has worked so it's like i know they can do it <laughs> why why doesn't it happen all the time like, the, there's so many broken abilities. The Force Choke for Vader's been broken forever. They broke Maul's Saber Throw a billion times. So, like, the, it just doesn't... The consistency's really strange and off uh, mm -hmm. with how well, they're doing things, too. You already know right off the bat that they're going to be more powerful. Because that's just basic DLC 101. Like, you have to... When there's a DLC in any video game, they make whatever it is that's downloadable good so that people get excited and they're like wow did you see grievous he's freaking kind of, insane they did make phasma pretty crappy at launch at least their staff strikes well, were that's kind of true percent well, worthless that's probably just finn was great a bug <laughs> yeah finn was <laughs> a, it was amazing finn was crazy. but they're gonna want these characters to be pretty powerful when they come out so everyone wants to grind the game to unlock these characters plus the more you grind to unlock the characters the more you're not going to have for credits, and then you have to buy skins, so it's just... So they're going to be pretty powerful. But, yeah, the problem is, I mean, they're, they're going to have to get nerfs and buffs, and then if they nerf and buff them, they're going to break powers, and... So, ugh. so who knows? Yeah. I think that, uh, I mean, like, if you had to settle on three powers, um, and just, just for Anakin, that you think that they will do, or that you want to see and I mean I guess you can factor in whether you think it's realistic or not but just to kind of like what, what, what would you want those three powers to be well I wish that it was like the, the evil Anakin with like the, the scar on his face and the force choke and stuff but we're not getting well, that's that that's kind of so. true but we're not getting evil Anakin <laughs> <laughs> um, my guess is saber throw rush and then I'd go with your idea of you hit the bumpers and it's some kind of buff ability, either to his like speed and stuff or some sort of health boost like Darth Vader would be my guess. Yeah, I, I like the LBRB idea of like seeing a group of enemies and being like, okay, this is a good opportunity to LBRB it and then I'll just rush in there and Anakin can actually take it and he'll clear the room basically. 
So kind of like a clear the room kind of power for his LB RB. Uh, Saber throw for LB and then for RB. Some sort of cool force power. I, I, I kind of said like for Obi Wan was like a part the Red Sea kind of power. For Anakin, it'd be kind of cool if he did like kind of like a repulse, but a little different where he like kind of like shoots them instead of like repulse, like Luke pounds the ground, they go and they go up in the air. It'd be kind of cool if Anakin like just would like stomp and like push his arms in either direction and kind of shoot them horizontally. If that makes sense, like kind of sideways, like almost like a well, sideways that's what repulse. repulse is supposed to do. Well, it's supposed to be like it's supposed to just knock them down in like any a direction. Mm -hmm. But like some sort of e even if it's just repulse and he just looks different when he does it, <laughs> I would kind of be okay with because I want him to have some kind of super powered force bomb of some I think sort. Push and uh, push and saber throw would be a good combo too because I think he had that in the original game. I think you could yeah. change between push and pull. Did. Yeah, I like normally it. change between push and pull, and then you could have saber throw. And that was... Beaten. No, I, uh, I think Anakin... Well, he might have been bad in the first one. Yeah. No, I don't, so I don't think he had He might have had... I think he did. He might have in, like, the campaign or something, but I, th I don't think in the normal game. Because I, I think he switched back and forth like you could play as him on both sides at some point so i just don't yeah. remember good enough it's been but a yeah i think uh some kind of like force bomb i, I think would be really cool for anakin just because he's so obviously super powered in the force if he has had some kind of mm. big explosion he could do with the force i think that'd be a really cool like rb power so that's yeah. the three i would go with all right, well, I think these are pretty realistic. I think we're probably closer with Anakin's than we are the other heroes because the other ones are kind of a little harder to judge. Anakin's yeah, Grievous not as hard. <laughs> yeah, Grievous is, could be... Yeah, <laughs> Grievous anything. is going to be really they have to make stuff up out there. They can't really steal from other heroes with Grievous. Nope. So I mean, they yeah. could, but it'd be insanely lame. If they yeah, <laughs> speaking of Grievous and Obi-Wan, make sure you check out our other podcast where we talk about the same thing, but for those two heroes, uh, in case you guys missed that, uh, check out our new channel, uh, Fortnite Updates, where we do nothing but Fortnite stuff, or you can check out our other channel, Foul Play, where we just play basically whatever we want for fun. And that's going to do it for me and Cookie, and we will talk to you guys in the next video. Goopa noopa. Yep, yep.